Welcome back, everybody. Get ready. Get some hype. We've got our biggest race of the marathon. This was uh, the most submitted run, and we had so many Quickie World submissions that we lumped them all together in a race. So like it or not, these four players are going to have to show down. We got Yeti Boca, Mingo Deluxe, jQuery, Defy by default. I've got a couple donations to read off real quick before we get started. Krinya donates $8.89, a slight denial of memes for more donations, and Golden Rules with the $63.45. Nice, nice. Brings our total up to $5,705.55. Maybe we can raise a little bit more, and maybe we'll see a Quickie World record. So take it away, Couch. Enjoy, everybody. Okay, well, this is Quickie 2, and I'm Arisen Dead. I got Valdio with me, and I think I got Undead Blackbird as well. Yep, I'm back again. Hey, how's it going? It's good to hear your voice, Valdio. Oh, likewise. So who wants to counter off? Can I let you do the honors? All hey, right, go for I'll do the honors. Shout out to Scatman, by the way. <laughs> Did we lose Arisen? No, I'm right here. I thought Valdeo was going to count it off. Oh. Oh, no, no. I I, oh, I think we got oh, past you. No big deal. My bad. Misunderstanding. Okay, let's get to the No, this no. Sorry, I, I thought you were going to do it. No, it's, it's fine. <laughs> My bad. Oh, All right. So okay. in three, two, one. Go! No! We're off. This game has a lot of lore. You want to explain some of the lore in this game, Valdia? Yeah, so this is basically Luigi in search for Mario since he died. He has no idea. He just died from a random disease. So he's blaming Yoshi and his awful revenge. How many secrets did you put in this game? There's a bunch of hidden secrets in this game. Oh yeah, th there's a secret in every level. There are some of them that are like very difficult to find, or at least... Let's just say some people weren't too happy about some of the secrets. <laughs> I think this is my favorite secret, but I might be biased. Oh yeah, it, it, it makes sense, yeah. Yo, I, I'd just like to point out the P-Speed strat that uh, Miko Deluxe to use. You can get P-Speed at the checkpoint there, and that allows you to go through that second section just a little bit faster. Yeah, it's a little tricky oh, yeah, not to die strat. when you have P-Speed right there. But once you get it, it makes the run save you like two to two to four seconds, depending on how well you do it, if I remember correctly. And these There's slopes over here... Was there's unethical slopes. <laughs> yeah, they are very tricky. Oh, yeah. And the poison <laughs> mushrooms are just winter. as bad. I also want to mention really quick, in the previous level, we had some music from a game called Mr. Gimmick. Uh, in the previous game, in Glitch Cat Lake, it's also music from the same game, and I'd recommend everybody to check it out. Fantastic NES game. GG Minko, looks like a Minko is taking the lead here. Well, maybe. Defy is paused for me for some reason. Whoa! Hello. Oh. Sorry about that. Mako is into take five, which is very tricky note block jumps. Yeah, fun fact that I actually learned from Glitch I'd never thought about with this level. Saving time is just to not hold your slow fall. The faster you fall, the more time you save because you're not in the air as much. And that makes a huge difference overall, especially in a small run like this. The more that you do not hold slow fall, the more time that you're going to save, especially on a deathless run. There's a couple cool little skips here with the note blocks. Um, I was trying to catch somebody doing it. I hadn't seen it yet. Nico, you can actually Nico skip a couple of these note blocks. Like right there, there it is. Yeah, Eddie just pulled it off actually a lot harder than it looks like most of guys you know. I feel like yeah, I say that way too much you're supposed <laughs> to hit both of those to build a bridge for yourself but you can get by with just one and a big old re-grab here's the first the first secret exit we see Minko going into right now where you carry a key and jump on these bullets to get across this is a fun little level and this secret exit was like one of the last things added this wasn't in the blind race in GDQ I know some of you guys were in that race. 
there was a lot of testing involved in this. I think there was four or five of us testers who tested this game. We wanted to make sure we gave you the best quality, consistently smooth game that we could give you. And there really wasn't yeah. all in all that much that Valdio needed to change in those terms. He did a really good job on creating this game and making it very entry level. I feel this is actually easier than Quickie One. I, I agree with that assessment. I, I found this one quite easier than Quickie One. Yeah, testing helped a lot, so thank you, and thank Leech Cat, third world all-rounder. I had a great team. Yump! GG's. And a nump. We got a yump and a nump. <laughs> so are we disqualifying anybody who gets a nump? <laughs> we could, we could. Can just shut off their stream right now? <laughs> well, Minko was just just kidding. Kidding. <laughs> I love you guys. Can we get a big shout out for Glitch for all the commentary Glitch does? I just oh, feel like absolutely. that needs to be said. Because like watching this as Glitch commentates a lot, watching four different screens, trying to commentate four different people and explain a game all at the same time is really hard. And Glitch makes it sound and just is so fluent. And I just feel well, like everybody you know, needs to give got... Glitch something love. Well, when you got good Mario such players, a good job. You got, you're pressing the jump button, you know, you got a good Mario <laughs> game. You know, mostly you survive by not touching any enemies and not falling in the pit. So if you do that, you probably win the level. Oh, I didn't know it was that easy. <laughs> yep, the one platform strat, that was nice. Uh, and the, the yellow P-switch palettes, when you get the secret in this, you actually have to go back into this level. A lot of the times you cannot go back into a, into a level once you've beaten a P-switch palace. But for this level, you have to go back into it in order to actually get the secret. It Yump took me five. forever to figure out where that was hiding. It was tricky. I ran this game for, I think, two weeks doing all secrets category that I had I had designed, and I was missing two of the secrets for two weeks. Didn't even know they existed. <laughs> <laughs> so, some of so, these are a little hard to find. We don't really showcase those in this run, but we're going to get to our first boss secrets. here. Yeah, Minka's already through World 1. Yeti, right? Oh, yeah, him. I guess I guess so. See what I mean? Lich is just a master at this commentary thing. Yeti is right behind Minka, though, just cleared the uh, World 1 boss. Yep, that's who I was seeing. I thought Yeti was ahead, but I was wrong. That's who I was seeing. I thought Yeti was ahead, but I was wrong. That's who I was seeing. I have no idea what's happening with my audio. I apologize. I promise I'm not doing that on purpose. It's great music. Yo, big strats over here for uh, Yeti Boca skipping a couple of those bats at the beginning. You wouldn't think it, but this is actually a level where you can save a ton of time in the run. Thank you, but this is actually a level where you can save a ton. It is a level where you can save a ton of time in the run. <laughs> and as a matter of fact, Yeti actually, sound. using a strat that Dacula found, I believe, uh, instead of sliding down that slope, you actually just run down it. And that gives you P speed where you're not supposed to have it, and you can maintain that P speed for the rest of the level. It's a it's a small time save, but a valuable one. It's a small time save, but a, it's a small it's a small time save, but a <laughs> <laughs> just pulling. Right into uh, to the limit, which is right, yeah. which is basically just a go fast level. A couple of nasty re grabs right there at the end that took me forever to figure properly. So do you know how to get this level? Oh, so the, the secret. Is, the secret's easy. Oh. You just do a midair. Oh yeah. Yep, went yeah. for it. Y yeah, he went for it. I've never yeah, actually went it, into that room. Going, that's impressive. I remember, Arisen, you tested that that room for me because I couldn't do meters. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it took me like three tries. <laughs> I've seen a few people get into it, but I've I've never done an unassisted midair in my life. Um, I'm pretty sure this has the frame roll patch, so the midairs are actually easier in this game than it is uh, to do in, like, vanilla SMW. Yeah. Yeah, regular, uh, if you have the sprite interaction patch on, all of those midairs where you would kill yourself in the air, you're still going to get the hit. So it just gives you, like, more statistical odds to nail it. Minka way out in the lead right now. Yeah. We've got a big, big lead right now. Could change at any time, though, with these kinds of games. Yeah. Going into the secret exit of that level there. That level has the best music. A Chris G. Gasm. 
Yeah, I wonder if we're going to see some speed strats uh, from the, the Chris G-Spot regular exit. Uh, there is, there's some pretty difficult stuff you can do, um, but there's a really cool way to keep the shell, and I'm wondering if, uh, if Minko is going to go for that or not. But we'll find out in one more level. Uh, Neon. No, it does not. L2K is strictly vanilla. Minus something ASM that makes it easier to restart. Yeah, the, the switch house that Minko is in right now, this first star timer is very tight. So a lot of people stand on the key like Minka did just there, just to ensure in case that first star runs out, they can still get the second star and continue on. Yeah, yeah there's some crazy coin. cheese in us using some key jumps, but I haven't been able to pull it off yet. <laughs> yeah. But I know it's possible. Yeah, you notice how Minko is going kind of up and to the right here to hit that switch, and uh, Tass has done it. Nice yump. Uh, oh, nice but it's been, th it's been theorized that RTA... If you were some kind of an insane key jump overlord, you could just go from the bottom left down there and key jump all the way up and skip doing the entire rest of that level. As far as I know, nobody but Tast has ever pulled that off, but in theory yep, it's possible. hasn't been done yet. I've tried and tried, but I just cannot get it. I do know it's possible, though, because I've gotten to where if I wouldn't have messed up, I would have had it, but it's 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 straight Tast. Yeah, your, your run would now depend RTA, on, like... Be incredible. Yeah, several key jumps. Also, oh, check it out. Minko Deluxe Minko's still has that shell. shell. You're not supposed to be able to have the shell here, um, but you can do some strats. Also, very nice first cycle Ooh. dolphins. That was great. And getting, so that's the point of having oh, the shell. Oh, man. In any Minko's percent. getting all would... the speed strats. Nice. Yeah. GG's. You're, you're welcome for that, by the way. I didn't tell Valdio about that whenever I tested it. <laughs> I left it in on purpose. <laughs> yeah, do your job, Arvison. <laughs> I know. I can't help it. It was too good. <laughs> Yeah, there's actually a way to use that strat both in the 100% run and in any percent. <laughs> if you get there in 100% or in any percent, the yellow blocks won't be there, so you can shell jump into the orb. And in 100%, you can still save yourself some time by just using that shell jump differently. This this is my favorite level, the level that Minko's on right now. I, this is the best secret in the game, I think, in my opinion. <laughs> also got the best music. Ooh. Yeah, it's got a little hidden track. And, and that Yeti. was very inspired. There's a section in Kaiso 2 where there's like an elevator, just like that. So this is like a non-dumb version. Well, maybe it is dumb, I don't know. Oh, Yeti just uh, just got through with the shell jump uh, cheese as well. Yeah, that's a really tough strat to pull off. Uh, it, it saves a lot of time, though, and it's really, really cool the way you set up um, just kind of standing on the Kaiso block you created so that you can keep the shell instead of skip that shell jump. But Minko getting right out of Arby's tower, Yeti close behind, Minko moving into the second world. Or third world, rather. Minko's on fire. I, I gotta say, I absolutely love the pokey. Uh, this level's called Soaring Saguaro. I absolutely love the pokey head sky tree. It's like my favorite thing. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's great. <laughs> yeah, sh shoutouts to Mega. He suggested that name, and we just went along with an entire level based on it. It's one of the only dietary levels that I don't dislike, to be honest. Yeah, the secret in this level, you can only get it if you one-shot the level and bring both of those vines up. But Minko is just going to grab that orb and keep moving on. You can see the Defy's doing the intended strat here. It doesn't have the shell for grabbing yep. this orb. And you can see the time save that you can get for having that shell instead of not. Minko this level's a, great a bit job. tricky as well, the one that Minko's on right now. Yeah, hot potato. The uh, The problem is that sometimes tossing bombs can be a little strange, so uh, it's very easy to miss miss a toss or accidentally run into an enemy with it and kill the bomb, which you need to open that gate at the end. Yeah, that level has killed many runs for me. <laughs> That's the thing with games like this, especially for people who have played Kaizo for a little while. It, it, it might not be the hardest kinds of hack out there, but getting through everything consistently and getting that good run where you're deathless to actually attempt to put your name up higher on the boards is extremely hard to do in these kinds of games. I watch Glitch run this a lot. I was I holding my game too. I was holding my breath watching Defy on the second half of RB's Tower because he jumped over the checkpoint. <laughs> 
Yeah, there is a little a strat uh, that you can do in Arby's Tower. Uh, it's called Green Bean Skip. Uh, we named it that because you skip the green bean. And uh, if you do just a perfect landing on the left side of that green bean, you can actually sneak through the gap and just keep falling without having to make that big jump. It's a minor yeah, time you, save. Yeah, you clip but... through that bean. Yep. That's a good strat. I always died to that strat. <laughs> yeah, it's one of those ones you only go for once. Just blasting through this. Minko is on fire. Let's see if we do the the pokey. Nope, not, not the pokey skip. You can actually get through there on the first cycle, but it's really, really, really hard to do. I think the first time I saw it done was by RB, actually, because I didn't think it was possible, and then RB pulled it off. Minko is just not stopping for anything. And Query and Defy are about the same place. They're mm -hmm. they're pretty neck and neck right now. Yeah, they're both in the second half of the Sky Tree. Defy seems to be having a little bit of trouble with that level. I think this might have been the hardest secret to find in this game for this level. You actually fall down below the screen and go into a pipe in order to find the secret for this <laughs> level. The very beginning. I think that was the last one Sh that I found. Shout out to MB. Was that was oh, that MB's fault? <laughs> that's uh no no that's microwave brother's room. <laughs> oh yeah, it is MB's room. Gotcha, gotcha. I thought MB gave you that idea. I was about to have some words. <laughs> oh no no no. <laughs> <laughs> and GG to Minko again. Yeah, that's one of my favorite levels, the one that Minko just went through. That's one of my favorite levels in this hack, actually. I, I love the on-off switch labyrinths. Yeah, that that yeah. last switch will uh trip you up if you don't know about it. <laughs> it Minka's now into Yoshi's Lair, which what once I got past the other run killers, this this is still a run killer for me. <laughs> I've only I've only ever one shot this level once, and it was the last time I ran it during uh, a GDQ event. <laughs> you know what one thing I wanted to say, like stylistically uh, in in the construction of the game is I, I just I absolutely love how Quickie World One and Two kind of rhyme with each other. You know the similar similar themes get repeated, but in a cool new way, and it's just such an it's so cool. I love stuff like that. What's up with that orb, Baldio? Oh yeah, yeah. I, I think I don't know if, how many people have done this, but if you stand in that bridge, there's a platform that falls and kills you, and the orb's just like meant to distract you. It oh, may have okay. got me my first time through. <laughs> yeah, I, I recall we I tried to for a long time trying to actually get that orb because we thought maybe there was a secret involved with it. Oh, yeah. I, I thought the same thing. I, I wanted to mention something really quick. Uh, it was Arby's idea because we had like only four bullets in this level and he was like, dude, keep adding bullets until we hit the sprite limit. And now there's like <laughs> seven or eight. And we just went, went on with it. It was pretty great. We are on the escape room with Minko here, coming up on the end of the game here. There's not very much left here, but it's uh, this was I think actually done before Grand Pooh World 2, wasn't it, Valdio? Didn't you yeah, have this made this, before? This was one of Bar those things that, that I, <laughs> I had this room with the Metroid music and everything, which is why I did a port of another song that's in five. But yeah, when when I saw Grand Pooh World, I was like, oh man, I have to, I have to do some changes. Oh, this is 100%. I'm sorry. We have some more levels here. My bad. Yeah, there's I, the option to fight the Yoshi boss at the end or continue on and go into the special. I always thought that was a nice touch that you didn't, you know, if, if you're doing a 100% run, you can just skip the boss altogether and just keep playing. I don't know if anyone else caught that, but Yeti snuck oh, yeah. into the, uh, the glitch cat room for a moment. Oh, I totally missed it. I saw it. <laughs> <laughs> and also, uh, Glitch, the, the reason I added credits into the castle is thanks to Blackcomb. I don't know if he's in chat, but he was saying, like, why do many categories in any percent don't have credits? You didn't beat the game, so I had to cover that base. I didn't want to make Blackcomb angry. A lot of people don't know that strat that Minko just did, but you actually don't usually get through that ball and chain that quickly. Um, he actually saved a couple of seconds by jumping on it before instead of waiting for it to come out, which is really sexy. It's hard to it's hard to pull off. And Minko is still making really good time. Yeti's right behind him. 
Yep. It's it's still anybody's game. It only takes a couple of mess ups for one person to catch up to the other runner. Yeah, and the final level of this can can also be a run killer, just like Yoshi's Lair. I hate that note block throw, or that throw block throw. Yeah, fun fact: if you're brave, you can actually uh, maintain your slope speed a little bit there. But I think you have to skip the checkpoint in order to do it. It's like a one or two second time save, but at great cost. Nice save from Defy by default. The platform fell, but he got the block. Very cool. Mako is through. Yep. Okay, so for anybody that didn't know, if whatever jump that you land on Yoshi with is the jump that is stored. So that's why uh, Minko had a spin jump off of that Yoshi and was able to use that Eerie to get across. Uh, someone was just asking about the space level. Uh, the boulders in that level are reskinned. Um, They're Eeries, aren't they? Yeah. Yeah, Eeries. That was one of the more fun levels because I could use any sprite and just reskin it toward rock. What, wasn't the rock on the line right at the end uh, reskin Kotobo? Yeah, one of the reflecting fireballs. Uh, it was Glitch's idea to have those red lines to show where it was going to go. It was a pretty nice touch. Or Miko getting the orb and uh, return to surfing. Yeah, I was saying how I, I really like that these two hacks rhyme. And uh, I, I love the way you did this with Surfing Ruins, where <laughs> it's like the original, but it's kind of gray, different palette, and uh, some stuff has changed. I just I thought that was such a cool touch when I played this yeah, the first time. It's a great callback, and uh, not to mention a lot easier. <laughs> <laughs> We're coming up this on the end happen. with Minko here on the last level here before the yeah. final boss. This level's really tricky, and it's really easy to mess up. And this is where Yeti has a chance to catch up. I just want to say that the secret room in, in Surfing Returns is pretty great. If you haven't seen it, go find it. Ooh. You got to keep your speed oscillation right there in order to make that gap, and that's why Minko died. Yeah, for the longest time, I tried to do that with uh, slope speed. And I recently, like within the last two weeks, found out you can also do it with P speed, and it's so much easier. I, I, know up on the here. I know Define knows the strat because <laughs> they call a room. I, I learned the strat from Define. Yeah, Minko GG. is done. Very, yeah, that's time. very good time. Yeah, very well run. Good job, Minko. Got a lot of good time saves and uh, just really blasted through a lot of that. That was a fantastic run. And Yeti's right behind here. There's yep. Yeti using the P-Speed strat. Much easier, much more consistent than trying to get slope speed and maintain it through those jumps. Yeah, we have more than enough time. We're going to let all the racers finish up, so you guys can just keep talking something you missed about the game or whatever. We're going to let all the time for Yeti. So now we got, now we got Defy and Query. Yeah, Defy and Query are neck and neck. Just goes to show how, how, how close this run actually is, because all of these racers are not very far behind each other. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Just what was Minko's time? Mistakes. I was curious. I didn't catch the time. It, I didn't see a timer. It was 20 and change. That's close. Very nice. This just says about 2050. Abe says Truman has a secret in here, and it's actually Truman Dab. If it still exists. <laughs> I don't know if that emote still exists or not, but that's the secret in here. You actually use these reskinned Eeries to go to the left and up at the top. And Yeti's showing off Ruby's secret <laughs> with the Ruby Ruby. Fact, uh, Ruby Ruby. Truman got banned because of it. He nailed that uh, first playthrough. <laughs> <laughs> showing off all the secrets. Big shout outs. Big shout outs to Yeti right here. Yeti's just going back and showing off secret rooms. Oh, are they going to get the midair one? I think so. I'd like to see it. That's one of my favorite secrets. But Defy is through space balls, is now taking the lead for the third place. You got this, Yeti. There it is. Let's go. Oh my god. Oh, nice midair. L Dead Butt. Can we get some L Dead Butt in chat? L Dead Butt. No, you got it. Let's show it. Let's see it. There it is. That's one of my favorite secrets in this game. 
Hey, we've got a uh, quick donation. Uh, Nexus fifteen dollars says hi again. Hi again, Nexus. Thanks hi, for all Nexus. you do. Yo, Nexus. Yeah, big shout outs to Nexus. If you like OSU, make sure you give Nexus a follow. I don't see Nexus playing Super Mario World very much. <laughs> That's because he beat every level ever. Probably. So we gotta make some harder stuff, so Nexus Probably. can play with us. <laughs> I mean, come on, dude even beat uh, Hacker's Dream old school. Ah, that's nuts. I was watching some of those streams. Oh, that's crazy. Another legend amongst our community. Gosh, I love that level so much. GG hey, Defy. Where's Yeti hey, going? It's Remy. Now? Look, and it's Remy. Remy. Yeah, Defy is through Mega Scottage. Into Suffering Worms. I'm really, I'm really glad Yeti actually decided to go and show Secrets off since he was behind, because a lot of people don't know that these exist. Mm -hmm. Yeah, finding those... Secrets is so fun. I, I highly encourage everybody to hide Secrets in their hack that are good-natured and not necessarily required, because it just, I think it gives a hack so much life and so much replay value. Uh, yep. it, it, always fun to search for secrets especially like it, it, okay if the secrets are required then it's just like uh, okay that's kind of weird but if they're just not required fun secrets it is always fun to look for them right so hey. i would definitely encourage more uh more usage of portraits and secrets in people's hacks val do remind me whose room is that i don't remember it's been too long uh that's... which room uh mario that's shrug the field of dreams oh it's uh Duders. Duders, that's Duders. what i thought okay i just didn't want to call out the wrong the wrong emote creator. <laughs> Shout out to the Breakfast Kaizo 2 secret. <laughs> I can't help but feel that you forgot a Kappa there, but thank you. Defy is moving on to the final level now. And you can see that Yeti's coming back for this. The secret I was talking about earlier in the yellow switch where you actually have to go back through the level in order to get it so you can go down this pipe that you didn't know was there. <laughs> oh. This is a pretty oh, yeah. clever turning that uh, switch into a pipe. <laughs> yep. Yeah. It was and really was, good. Uh, Shadow C mode. Shadows yeah, to him as well. Shadow 618. I always forgot this secret. I don't know why, but when I would run this game, I'd always forget the secret that Yeti's about to get. Defy's coming on on the final boss right now, so yeah. we'll have time on Defy here shortly. <laughs> Yoshi head, I forgot about it. <laughs> Just shaking. Oh, there's the Harkness Ninja. Harkness. Time for Fun Defy. In fact, if you're looking for a better, or not a better, I should say, a more challenging run, there is an all secret okay sword that you can hit. I think Logic and myself are the only ones on it. No, there no, no. There's that midair. Also, is there as well? There's like. Oh, is Osu on there too? I haven't been on the leaderboard for a while, so. Yeah. Also, I'm isn't it running by I'm two months backdated on everything ROM ah. hacking related, so. I don't mean to call you out, but is your ROM valid still? Is what? Oh, never mind. <laughs> Just because. You you missed the, the the MB room in one of your runs. Oh, did I really? I just don't remember oh, if it's I might have to go back through and check it again. I'm pretty sure it's valid. <laughs> no, also, shout okay. out to the Oof Life. Oof. That's the best secret in this game. <laughs> if I gotta go, if I gotta go, re, I'll, I'll do that as soon as I have a chance tonight. Actually, I will I will clarify because I do not want to fake run on leaderboards. Let me just put that out there. For the first two weeks you run all secrets, you get to skip. Two I did. I missed the first two weeks I ran all secrets. I missed. See, I missed them for sure. I did. I didn't know. I missed I missed one for the first week and then another one for the second week. I felt dumb. Defy by default is up to something over here, too. Oh, yeah, jQuery getting this. into the final room. He's going to be our last racer to wrap up, so time is coming up for jQuery soon. Time. Awesome. And GG's. So, suddenly we're just turning this into an all-secrets run, which uh, is pretty great. <laughs> Pretty hey, great. I like it. I like it. <laughs> ah, it's fun. The whole time no secrets of again. time, right? We are pretty good on time, but we are going to have to wrap it up pretty soon. 
Coming up next, we've got White Moth versus Third Wall racing Takumi 5. That's going to be amazing. And that's, that's going to be a start... crazy good run. Nobody wants to miss this. Trust me, stick Pretty around. Soon. I'm learning this run. It's crazy hard. Do you guys have any shout outs or anything before we go? And uh, also make sure to follow these racers on Twitch naturally. Um, I, I didn't get my... I didn't get my shout-outs in on the last one, so I'll do them now. Uh, shout-outs to the Girls of Kaizo team. Um, had a lot of fun with that race earlier today. And also, shout-outs to my wife, Chibi Demon, who I think might be lurking in the chat. Hello. Hi. Uh, this is Miko. I want to uh, shout-out everybody in this chat, um, and especially Valdio. Uh, Valdio, you, you wouldn't know this, but every time I play Quickie 2, I do a run, um, I, I uh, start the run by thanking you and wishing something good upon you. So uh, that's that might be weird, but I think one of them was like, hey, I hope you find like some nice shoes next week or something. Uh, <laughs> it's, it, it's weird, but all that to say, thank you so much for making both of the quickies. They're amazing games. I love it. Uh, shout out real quick to uh, Replacement, Abe, uh, Faceless, um, all the people who supported me in chat, and also big shout out to Yeti, jQuery, and Defy. It was All nice right, doing well, commentary talk. with you. Fine yeah, folks. thank you so much. Yo, we've got some uh, some donations here. Before we move on to the break, Glackham donates sixteen dollars and says hi, Valdio, and Pat CDR a hundred dollar donation. Thank you so Ooh. much, Pat. Quickie Worlds with a love. Thank you so much, hey, Pat. And thanks for bringing us Chat Hacks Mario World. That was super fun. If we're all good with shout outs and everything, everybody, then we've got to move it on because we've got Takumi 5 coming up with Third Wall and White Moth. And this is almost the end of the marathon. So if you guys have any more donations, you know, get them in now uh, because we've got two more runs. We've got Takumi 5 and then the big wrap up tonight. Zelda 2, The Adventures of Link, Crowd Control with Mag Mag Attack and Enchantress of Numbers. So there's still more ROM hack and fun to come. Stick it with us and we will be back. <laughs>